Well, I did an interview with Lil Easy mm -hmm. uh, around the time of that movie. Mm -hmm. And he really felt like he was going to get the role because he looks like Easy E, Absolutely. right? Same builds, same, you know, complexion, same facial features and everything right. else like that. But he ultimately didn't get the role and he felt some type of way about it, especially because Ice Cube's son got to play Ice Cube, whereas Easy E's son didn't get to play Easy E. Do you feel that um, Ice Cube had the resources Most to put his it's, son it's through all the acting classes and you may not have had the same level yeah, of resources? Yeah, but that's not, that's not, his, that's not his, his job to do, you right. know what I mean? But it's, that's common sense, yes. You know what I mean? His, his father is, you know, movie after movie, Cube Vision, you know, I'm doing box office movies, you know. Now as we see, ride along to, you know, you switch from comedy to family. From the street side, you know what I mean? You did the crossover. I, like I told the man, it's like I, I, I you know what I'm saying? I, I respect your your legacy, you know what I mean? It's something that I would, I, I can mimic and sit there and try to do myself and want to get into movies. So it was a it was a good chance for me to do an unpolished act of an individual person that I'm playing that's not hard for me to do. You can ask his mama. Right, so my first experience with Lil Easy was actually like, cause he did a couple interviews around that time where in so many words, he made me feel like it was gonna be Halloween for whoever showed up to play this role. Because if somebody was gonna fuck it up, it might as well be him. Quite naturally, like that's his son, you know, like he look exactly like that man. Like he should be first in line to be able to do it. But you know, his acting skills just wasn't where mine were. You know what I mean? So after I found out that I was going to, you know, be coming back out to L.A., I'm thinking, shit, I might need some niggas on the ground. I ain't never been out here before. Like, I need to find out what this is about to be now, right? So I get on Facebook. I find everybody that I could find that's related to Eric, just period. So I end up getting his number and called him and was like, bro, we had like a three-hour conversation. You know what I mean? And after I told him how I felt about it, and and what it meant to me and me being from New Orleans, you know what I mean? Because he was like, the worst feeling in the world for him would have would have been some British actor or some shit that came in that didn't know shit about this whole culture and just messes it up. You know what I mean? And I felt him on that because this was a big thing. Like even even his death has this huge conspiracy around it and all of this stuff. And like he was such a big footprint that. You know, you that ain't something that you could just come and mess up. This is too important of a story to tell. So it went from him having this attitude like it's going to be Halloween to him pretty much having the welcome wagon waiting on me when I got to, to, uh, to California for the first time. So literally the day I flew in, you know, um, first Shay took me to this place called Barry's that has like this amazing lobster pizza that they feel like everybody should try. When you go to <laughs> when you go to LA, and then I met up with Lil Easy. You know, he started like introducing me to different people, and uh, that kind of got interesting as well. Cause I had no, I, I wasn't soaking up the fact that he had seven different baby mamas and, and and nine kids. So I was just reaching out to all these different kids, you know. But they mamas kind of didn't all get along and shit. So they was like, Jason, you trying to start some shit? And I was like, No, I'm I'm just trying to you know gather as much information as possible. So, you know, I, I was sitting down with different family members and shit like that, but Easy kind of had all of that set up, you know? And he he came on set a bunch of times and really supported me. You know what I mean? I got a lot of respect and love for that dude. That's my guy. Well, yeah. And just to be fair, O'Shea Jackson Jr. went to USC film school. Yes. And really took it seriously. Like you said, he had that acting coach for multiple years, and he still had to audition, and he yes. still had to go up against other ice cubes in order to get that role. Lil Easy, from my understanding, didn't go through those same steps. Exactly. And, no, you he, know, he, unfortunately, he you know, when it comes to these big budget $15 million films, a lot's riding on it. Exactly. Exactly. You know, and the way Gary was looking at it was like, listen, this could potentially be my Oscar. Like, he knows where he stands in the film world, and he ain't got time to be trying to pat people back, you know what I mean? And make them feel good by, you know, like putting them in positions that they shouldn't be in. So he wasn't really like, you know, what's so funny. They were going back, so going back and forth so much with him and um, 
and uh, this other guy who ended up being... Do you remember that scene in Straight Outta Compton where we're about to fight those guys from New York who come in and I, like, grab the bottle and shit? The main guy who was talking his shit, who's on power now, I believe his name is, like, Marcus or something, he ended up leaking something that he was going to be Dr. Dre, but he auditioned for both Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, right? <laughs> so so he ended up leaking something on the internet saying that he was going to be it. And when we found out that Corey got it, um, Gary decided to give him this role that he knew as soon as we saw his face, we was going to be like, motherfucker. You know what I mean? So we didn't know who these guys were going to be. So when he walked in the studio and on set that day, we was all looking at him like, what the fuck? Like, it was crazy. Like, that guy's a genius, man. That guy, that guy's a genius. Shout out to F. Gary Gray, man. <laughs>